who let their fists do all the talking. The night's barely started and already there's aggro heading their way. Yeah, we know about getting a bit closer so we can actually understand what he's saying. Just step back, mate. That's all I want you to do. Step off the premises, mate. It's a taste of things to come in Batley. There seems to be something in the air tonight. If you get so me, I'll get in leather and I'll show my ass to the pool. As the only club in town, the Frontier gives the bouncers a particular problem. The Frontier, it's the last stop at the OK Club. So getting knocked back at the Frontier sometimes does have an adverse effect on people. Watch me, these knockers are going to get right. Doing the taxi, get When you work in a big city, when you turn guys back, there's another bar 20 yards down. Tears strict no bottles outside rule doesn't meet with the approval of one young lady. Yeah, let the drink. Yeah. Fucking fat, fucking right, fucking motherfucker. Yeah, I would have at least drank to your fat. Oh, you, 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 you. This party surprises everyone by turning nasty. It even reminds Ian of being in combat in his army days. We all thought it was just going to be a, a load of 18, 19. Didn't work out like that, though. For some reason or another, it just went into World War. The frontier turns into a battlefield as troublemakers are bounced out of the club and the police are kept busy with multiple arrests. The people that were arrested, they were the local idiots. I don't think we had any actual bother with students. But one guy is caught dancing on the stage. That's a big no-no. So the party's over for him as he's bundled outside. Sorry, I didn't realise you on stage. You've been told now three or four times, I've not been told on that fucking stage. You've been told three or four times tonight. The self-confidence seems to shoot through the roof. You could have a, a five-stone wet through blood. It's not all right. It's a bloody monopoly. It's not all right. How are you to make a decision? I work here. My discretion stays in this desert for no reason. Well, that's a monopoly then, isn't it? That's not right. At the frontier, modern-day doorman G recognises the violent dangers he and his workmates face on a night like tonight. Worst thing about the job, really. Whereas six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, people were willing to have a dust up and leave it at that. There's plenty to keep them on their toes as more people are shown the door. No need for that, no need for that, no need for that, what that? I don't know if you'll fucking tell me what fucking mother was like. I'm fucking going in with us. Come on, you can swatch out, fella. Come on, fella, bloody hell. Fuck's sake. You can't hear you, Steph. It doesn't matter. You can't hear him. I know, I'm trying Smack your lungs around, smack your mouth. He can't hear you, he's dead. Okay, he's deaf. But does that still give him the right to carry on? Bungie prides himself on being able to restrain difficult customers, and he's going to have to put his training into effect tonight. As he come through, it was just like a wave, people being knocked out of the way, and he headbutted the glass door. And he grabbed me bollocks and starts squeezing and turning me bollocks. So I've had to stop him. People will not go unconscious. They will let go before they get to that point. Will they? Took two of us to restrain him. Glyn's like 17 stone, I'm 23 stone. That kid was chucking 40 stone up and down and without us being able to control him properly.
Being able to handle yourself physically is probably the hardest part of the job. We're trained to do it. It's just, you know, last resort. Eventually, the police come and take over. The old school bouncers would have thought nothing of using extreme violence. I treat violence with violence.